It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've just toasted a crumpet for today's beer and food review. So it's nice and hot. So first and foremost, whilst it's hot, I've got some Abazda from the little Fest beer, Alpen Fest kind of range, which I picked up just last week. I'm going to be going with an Earl Backer Premium Volks beer. And that's coming in at 5.6% ABV. But whilst it's hot, I was thinking, I mean, they do suggest putting it on some nice brown bread. So this is 150 grams. That's what it looks like. Let's get some on the knife. Oh, it looks like, I, I don't actually, I've not even looked at the ingredients. I don't even know what this is, but I'm going to put quite a bit. Whoa, look at that. Shall we smother this spread? There we go. Look at that. Never heard of it before, a Bazda. I bet it's fantastic, I bet it's great. I bet it goes fantastic with beer. So let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Now, some of you might have seen the 10 little Fest beer unboxing video, which we opened just last week. I believe we got the video out Friday. Well, I wanted to do something different. I could have just bought the 10 boxes of the, the 10 beers in the box for £25. That makes every single beer £2.50 a bottle. But at the same time, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to, I've always wanted to try some of these kind of fast beer foods. And why not? The beer's there. Let's get some of the food. So we got a three finger white head. Good levels of carbonation as the beer rolls up the glass and it's an amber well i'm going to say a light amber colored beer aroma mm, yeah oh it just smells fantastic light Got me salivating. I don't know whether it's the really good looking food and the beer that's really got me salivating today. It's like biscuity notes coming through, a spicy pepperiness, stinging nettle hop aroma. It smells fantastic. 5.6% ABV. Most fest beers are slightly elevated in the ABV. They'll go from generally 5.4 to 6.4% ABV. Let's get in then, cheers. That is lovely. For me, that's drinking like a Pilsner. Lovely bitterness on that beer. Really lovely bitterness, but I want to get into the. I'm, I'm not going. What I'm not going to do with this Abazda is I'm not going to look at the ingredients because I want to work out what it is for myself, and then because I, I don't know if that's bits of egg. I don't know if it's bits of garlic. It looks like egg to me. Let's get in. Oh, it's really interesting. At this point, I don't know what it is. It's, it's slightly salty. It's definitely mayonnaise based. Or like a creamy kind of 
egg base to it. There's something there that I know what it is. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's almost kind of minty and almost kind of herbal. Hmm. It's blooming delicious though. Really creamy and rich. Let's have a look then. Full fat cheese spread made with camembert and spices. See, I want more kind of... It's delicious, but I want more mayonnaise based. It's actually a cheese spread. Loads of, loads of cream, butter, full fat, soft cheese, onion, salt, spices, and it's camembert. It's 53% camembert. So what's the big? What is the big? Well, it must be onion, is it? Cream, butter, full fat, onion, salt, spices. What's the kind of big lumpy stuff then? It looks like egg or something, doesn't it? Must be, must be onion or garlic. Okay, so it's camembert. I'll tell you what it is though. That is flipping delicious. Whoa. I don't think I was far wrong when I was talking about being like a mayonnaise spread. I was talking about being creamy and rich. Okay, it's soft cheese. Hmm, great though. I like that. I really like that. I'm going to rate it while I'm here. Never had this before. But with the rest of this, I'm going to go and buy some more crumpets this afternoon. And I'm going to, when they all wake up to school and work in the morning, the wife and kids, I'm going to make them some of this. And I'm just going to say, eat that. And, and it'll be the perfect start to your day. It's absolutely fantastic. I like that. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from me, though, craft beer. Really, really, really tasty, tasty. A bazda. I'm really pleased. I've just kind of just gone, let's try some of that. Now for the beer review. Great lacing on the glass. We've already had a taste of the beer. The t I described it as being kind of like a, a, a pilsner. Really quite bitter. Mmm. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm so glad I've chosen that pairing because the the soft cheese and the garlic flavour and the camembert of the cheese and then you've got the kind of bitterness on the back end. Cheese and beer. Cheese and beer is the perfect, never mind wine and beer. Forget wine and beer. Sorry, forget wine and cheese. Forget wine and cheese, it's all about beer and cheese. Beer and cheese is definitely the answer. Absolutely fantastic. This is paired so well. And I've kind of almost done it by accident. I've not necessarily gone, right, let's have a read of the back of the label on the beer. Let's read the back. I've, I've kind of done it blind. And this is how I wanted to do it. I just wanted to grab some food, grab a beer, put them together, see if it works. I mean, there's a good chance it's going to work. Is this part of this festival range? But to go with the beers. Anyone who's seen my beer verse video, um, what I've been doing with the rest of the beer verse, I've been slicing it thinly and I've been putting it in cheese toasties. So cheese, cheese and beer verse toasties, they've been fantastic. 
But the beer, the beer is incredible. Absolutely fantastic, incredibly drinkable, refreshing, slightly sweet over here, nice and bitter. It's got a lovely bitterness. This is more like definitely, I'd say definitely, definitely a German style Pilsner, but slightly stronger at 5.6% ABV. Super crisp, super refreshing, super lovely. If there's any of these beer boxes left in Lidl, because I've been reading your comments and they seem to have sold out rather quickly. Um, please go and buy a box of the beer because they are absolutely fantastic. The, the cheese I gave a nine out of 10, the beer is equally as good. The beer is fantastic. That's a nine out of 10 too. Nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.